Yo, what is going on guys, Digirex here, and today I'm coming at you with a brand new Moonlighter video, and in today's video, I am going to be telling you guys how to kill the forest dungeon boss. So, first of all, I totally uh, used the exact same method as how I got quickly to the Golem King. I just cleared the dungeon. I feel as if the portal does not give you enough value for the money you're spending on it. So, I bought the uh, three potions, one for each floor where the fireflies guide you to the next floor. Uh, you just pop a potion, like you're seeing here, follow the fireflies, and it'll lead you to the next floor. And I went all the way down to the boss. I believe that this is the most efficient way in both money and time just to get to the boss. So that is what I did. And then I made sure that I had some bigger health potions this time. And as always, you want to have them equipped in your uh, quick use slot. Um, before you go into the fight because you cannot go into your bag during the fight So we are nearing the boss room and the weapon of choice that I use for this boss is a large sword I think that you could use the bow and arrow also I just use the big sword purely because of the invincibility frames You can dodge a lot of his attacks because if you guys do not know with your X attack you get invisible Invincibility frames where you cannot be hit by any oncoming attack or I would also choose the bow and arrow just so you can keep your distance from this boss because this boss has a lot of powerful more close range attacks but not so many powerful long range attacks so if you can keep your distance or you can take advantage of those invincibility frames with your big sword then you should be good to go honestly and I just use the big sword that does damage not imposing status effects so this is the boss room here you'll notice that it's quite a bit larger than the golem king's boss room he's got this cute little animation coming out of the ground and yes, it is quite a bit bigger, so I'll walk you guys through the attacks. I actually did this one the first time. I think this is actually easier than the Golem King. So the Carnivorous Mutai comes out of the ground. And like I said, I just use the X attack because it does a lot of damage and you get the invincibility frames. So he starts off by spitting off these seeds. This is one of his attacks. And as you see, they create little flowers around here that shoot kind of little energy beams. And I am getting hit a lot at the start here. As you see, his roots go in the ground. And yes, he has a jumping attack. So the three attacks that we've seen so far. He spits out seeds, and now I have these little flowers shooting at me. I just go around and kill these one at a time. And then he has a jumping attack. It's basically just a leap onto you. It's really easy to see, really easy to see coming, and real easy to dodge out of the way. I'm still dealing with these flowers here. But as you see, um, he has a close range, just regular vine whip, just regular melee. I'm just trying out the spear here just to see how far I can hit him from. And then he digs his roots into the ground, and they come out at you. And uh, honestly, just stay mobile. Don't try to DPS him when the roots are in the ground because they will hit you. So uh, he's just shooting, or I still have flower shooting. And then he has this, which is real easy to dodge, especially if you stay far away, taking advantage of those invincibility frames so that they don't hurt me. And honestly, I'm just Beyblading this guy. I'm just waiting till we get see the roots go in the ground and then they come out here. Just stay mobile. Don't stand in one spot at all. Once you see his roots dig in the ground, just keep moving, keep rolling. There's his. There's his uh, leap, and you can actually use your invincibility frames with the big sword to uh, get out of damage with the leap. Now this attack, this is really the only long range one he has besides growing other plants, and it is not very strong at all. It's kind of hard to get hit by that. So like I said, I'm just whirlwinding this guy. Goes in the ground. See, I stay much more mobile this time, and I did not take any damage. So I'm just trying to whirlwind this guy. There's his dodge, or there's his leap, and I, of course, use the invincibility frames from a big sword X attack. Um, or alternative attack to not take damage from it so the this he does in different patterns but like I said it's real easy to dodge especially if you take advantage of your invincibility frames and I'm just whacking him over and over as you see I'm just doing a ton of damage to my big sword and he is already dead so those are the attacks he has as you see when he stick I think his best attack is when he sticks his uh, roots into the ground but if you see him stick his roots in the ground just keep moving that is the most important thing because that will do a ton of damage to you that will mess you up and it's probably the least telegraphed attack the rest the long range bulbs are really easy to see as long as you get rid of those flowers that shoot at you you should not have an issue whatsoever the rest of the boss fight is pretty easy as long as you get rid of your flowers and uh, make sure you're using invincibility frames and the reason I say a bow would be good because you can keep him at longer distance because most of his attacks let's admit it are closer range or he tries to get close to you for most of his attacks with the leap and stuff like that. The only really strong, the strongest long range attack he has is those different patterns of orbs that come out and try to hurt you. And those are real easy to dodge or just slip through. So use 
the big sword or the bow. I think these are the two best weapons that you use. And of course, you get a ton, a ton of loot at the end right here. It's pretty crazy how much stuff you get. You, you, you're going to have a good shop session after this. Shop session. Yeah, you're going to sell off a lot of stuff. But that is the best way to kill him in my opinion. I hope this guide helped you. And please subscribe for more Destiny 2, Moonlighter, Overwatch, and for Honor content. As always, this has been Didrex. Peace. So we all need some time just to settle down Won't you come around Cause I never can leave it alone Talking about somebody rolling Boulevard down and making it count For efforts I can't explain Balling and feeling we drown And never be humbled by playing the fighter